Hey y'all, Cook and Cutting Up, keeping it real. Push those bags out into the hallway, right here, curtain. We'll put them up in the attic. And the router's on the, on the floor. Hey y'all, Cook and Cutting Up, keeping it real. I am going to show you guys how to make my granny's famous apple crumb apple pie. My aunt has just shared the recipe with me. And so I have, I did a store-bought crust and a Pillsbury crust, I just pushed it into here. I have peeled and poured six tart Granny Smith apples, and I'm gonna put them in a saucepan and put them on the stove. And I'm gonna cook them just until they're, and then I'm gonna add water, sugar, all-purpose flour, and cinnamon. And then I'm gonna put them in here. And I've already made filling, which was um, brown sugar, um, butter, and um, flour, okay? So Kurt is here and we're getting ready to hopefully pack and ship uh, orders. We're having some technical difficulties with the internet and bless his heart, I'm glad he's here to figure it out because y'all know I'm not good at that. Um, while that is coming up on the stove, I'm gonna go ahead and um, mix a cup of water. I've actually never made Granny's apple pie. I always love to eat them, but I never have made them. One cup of sugar. I mean, what is more American than apple pie? What did you like, fellas? Seriously. Um, purpose flour, which I'm going to eyeball that. I'm going to eyeball that too. I'm going to give that a whisk. And then I'm going to wait on these apples to soften on the stove. I was hoping Sid would get here because she needs to know how to make Granny's apple pie for sure. So I'll come back to you when that comes up and show you the rest of this recipe. Um, what you will need for this recipe, and let me just recap, are five to six tart apples, peeled and cored, three-fourths cup of water, one cup of sugar, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, three-fourths teaspoon of cinnamon. And then the top of the crust is a half a stick of butter at room temperature. Well, half a stick of butter, brown sugar, oh, it's on the back. Brown sugar, here we go, one-fourth cup of softened butter, um, one cup all-purpose flour and half a cup of, of brown sugar. You can use brown sugar or white sugar. I used brown. And it's in the fridge. And when we get all this together, I'll just sprinkle that over the top and have that apple pie ready to bake. I'll show you guys what I can show you in just a few minutes. Cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Granny's apple pie. Hey y'all, cookie cutting up, keeping it real. Oh, I wanted to show y'all how we're finishing off Granny Ingalls apple crumb pie. And Sid is here, which I'm glad because Sid, when Granny passed, you were, I don't even know how old you were. Do you remember? Am I supposed to say hi? Yeah, say hi. Do you remember Sid? Did you, do you ever remember Granny in the kitchen cooking? No. Okay. I, I was guess. like, what? I was not. Yeah, because her the last five years her her health was declining quickly. Anyway, so said this was one of the famous things she did on Sundays for us, and we loved them. Uh, her fruit pies, apple being the choice of today. So I have mixed um, the water, the sugar, butter, butter. No, not butter. No, where was it? Water, sugar, flour, and cinnamon in this in here okay and then i have uh cut and cored six tart apples and they're ready you just do them until they're soft we're going to dump them into the pie into the pie shell you know what that looks like Woo. potatoes yeah it does look like potatoes anyway and onto that i'm going to pour this liquid mixture of the sugar the water 
the flour and the um, cinnamon over these apples. And then the apple, I mean the crumb <laughs> topping, which was butter, sugar, and flour. And we are just gonna like crumble it over the top. I had made it earlier and put it in the fridge. But you can do this for any fruit pie. You have to bake it, right? Yeah. Bake again. We're gonna put it on 400 for 40 minutes. So I will show you guys a picture of that. Oh, it might help if I do this, huh? Sorry. Um, when this comes out of the oven, we're gonna have this tonight for supper. For dessert. I was curious that you're just gonna have that for no, supper. No, I'm gonna make a homemade vanilla ice cream in that ice cream maker that you do on the tabletop. The and one that Debbie has? Mm-hmm. Yep. You got it? Yeah. I, I've had one, I just yeah. had never used it. And then Debbie showed me that. I was like, shoot, I can do that. So anyway, for you people that follow along, you know that this new recipe book coming out is going to have a ton of Granny's touches to it, including her cornbread, which your dad tasted my cornbread. He said it was close, but wasn't exactly. <laughs> he told you real quick. He, yeah, he ate Granny's stuff all the time. So I was like, tell me the truth. So I'll show you guys a picture of that when it comes out of the oven, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real cooking with Sid and packing and shipping orders, right? I love what happened here. Okay, so I'll show you that when it's done, y'all. We'll talk to y'all soon. Have a good one. If you've ordered items, you should be getting emails today that they're shipping, okay? All right, we'll see you when we see you. Bye.